Grandpa Anubi reporting for duty with just one question. What in the name of all that's holy were they thinking? The Kimbo Sog? You gotta be kidding me. This thing is a destructo machine. It completely eliminates those guys that run around with the shoddies, especially the ASG-89. If you're using that, you come up against this, you're gonna lose. Let's take a look at the configuration that I used. First, the compensator on the muzzle. And what does that do for us? Well, we gotta go somewhere somewhere else to see and it helps the recoil significantly if we take this off and we add the compensator 28% and 30% on the gun kick and the recoil and let's take a look at the damage 26 to the head 21 everywhere else and that's with the CHF barrel to the head now what does that really mean to us well we got 52 damage because we have two shots going into the enemy every time so 15 rounds per second Double that, 30 rounds per second one round every half second. If it takes four rounds to kill, it's a 200 millisecond kill. Really, it's about that no matter what. The CHF barrel, that helps with the head. You can see that 8%. I'm going for headshots for dark matter. Extended mag two, you gotta have this thing because you're gonna be going through bullets faster than grandpa goes through tums. And here's the piece de la resistance. The Akimbo stock or the Akimbo SOG. Awesome. You got to try this. And then finally, I went ahead and added a steady aim laser just to help with the aiming as I am going around destroying the enemy on the smaller maps. And the damage range is 9.5 meters, 22.7 beyond is 12. So you want to keep it in tight here. Speaking of keeping it in tight, let's go to the shooting range and see how this thing does. There they are. A Kimbo Sog. And uh, we got it. Let's get in nice and tight. Ooh, accidentally pulled the trigger there. And you just destroy people. Absolutely destroy them. Let's take the Akimbo Sog onto the field of honor in the small maps. See how they did for Grandpa. See what they did to Grandpa's often angry afterwards enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. People gonna hate, but... Hater's always going to hate Grandpa. He's just trying to get through COD life in a Kimbo way. So you notice I'm just kind of bebopping around. You don't really need a lot of advanced movement with these things. I guess you can add it in. But you just need to be able to see people jumping, sliding, doing whatever. And then you gack them. Okay. That guy's taking a nap, but somebody... Somebody ended that nap. We got the lady with the blue hair on our side. That's always a good thing. I think her hair turns pink the more people she gacks. So like I said, my strategy to start with, kind of shock them with a shock stick, then shock them with a bullet. Oh, you shocked me. With a PP919, that's a excellent SMG. Got a few shocked folks there. They can respawn and consider their ways. Maybe improve. Okay. Shocked person gat grandpa. That's not very nice. So I tried several configurations with this weapon in the akimbo format. And the one that I presented at the front was the one I thought was best. One thing you might do is instead of the CS CFH or CHF barrel, go to a long barrel, something like that, because I'm using the CHF to get my headshots in for this one. I've got the rest, I think, of the SMGs to dark matter. I want to get all of the... DLC seasonal weapons to dark matter too. Okay. We're playing face off. This is a great map 
to use the dual SOGs on. I probably would not use them on maps other than... Oh, you could probably use it on Babylon as long as you stayed close to the to the temple area, the altar area, whatever that thing is. You can see people can dance around you, but all you need to do is turn and gack them because you're putting out more than 30 rounds per second. Okay, there's a bunch of guys that are ooh, gonna have to pull out the standby. And if you're gonna troll people with dual sogs, what better secondary weapon than the Marine SP? This one's fairly close. The guy tried to jump over to avoid being gacked by Grandpa. That is not a smart thing to do because I'll shoot you on the way down. You got to have max rounds in this weapon, too. There we got rid of the high value target. I don't know if you heard a little phone call coming in. But the pros are starting to call once they, pro teams, once they see Grandpa with his dual sods. They're going to ring them up. The phone's ringing off the, off the hook. And if you believe that, I have a bridge in the desert for sale. I own the thing. Somebody sold it to me. There's another high-value target, HVT. This thing just eliminates people. I did play some advanced movement games, but you know what? It's really not needed all that much. I got rid of the shock stick there. Just playing Gacamole, serving chips with the Gacamole. Some of my favorite food is serving Gacamole. Playing Gacamole. There's some for you. For you. What is this? I was the HVT. I didn't do too good a job at it. Let's go finish off that guy. We've got a small lead, and that can that can end pretty quickly in this this game. I'm not even really sure how they score. If anybody knows, leave a comment below. And by the way, I've only seen one other person use this weapon in this configuration. That's what gave me the inspiration. Hey, give me your dual SOG stories. I'd love to hear them. It's a SOG story. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers, and definitely peace to you. And Grandpa gets the kill cam again.